day 61. Uh, probably not going to be recording a whole lot because I'm going to be on the road to Wyoming. Uh, last night was kind of a loud night. I didn't go to bed till midnight, man. Uh, but everybody started dropping acid and whatnot. And, yeah, we'd been drinking all night. I had nothing but free beers, man. And a bit of tequila. Ugh. Uh, but yeah, everybody was rowdy up all night. These poor towns have no idea what they're in for. Uh, uh, so I sit here and wait for um, Big Red and Poppins to wake up and get ready. And then, I don't know, maybe we leave, maybe we don't. I'm not in control. I'm just along for the ride. I think they're going to southern Wyoming, though. I'm going to northern Wyoming. So I'm going to get as far as they take me. They drop me off. I'm going to thumb or take a bus or something. I'm not sure what. I'll wait for the situation to arise. I'll get my ass to northern Washington, northern Wyoming, uh, somewhere south of the winds. But I haven't looked at the map yet because I haven't downloaded that map. I'm still trying to do YouTube stuff, so it's taking all of my my uh, phone. Uh, but yeah, get up to somewhere in northern Wyoming, hike south through Wyoming, then hike south through um, Colorado. Hopefully everything's better here because it's cold and miserable. It is. I'm not in the mood to be here. No, Wyoming sounds way better. So, yeah, I'll see you there. Yeah, well, there'll probably be a few little videos along the way, but more or less, I'll see you there. Yeah, I could go hiking through that. Yeah, no. We are in beautiful Buena Vista. Take a quick bathroom break. We're going to find a campsite. Kick back, relax, cook some stuff, make a fire, you know, fun stuff. And then, you know, tomorrow we carry on. Okay, color me press. These are Porta Johns. I'm like, wow. I've never seen one of the mirror. It's got music. It's huge. Well, we're drinking fancy out here. Look at that. There's a little sprig of mint in there and whatnot. And calling it a stormy waters rum and something else and Tabasco and something else. It's not half bad. So we're all hikered out all over the place. Oh, that's pretty nice, man. We're going to sit here. We're going to eat some lasagna, um, hang out, have good times, and then head on in the morning. It's groovy. Under the leg. Under the other leg. Under and this next one I named after my ex-wife. Under the biggest leg. <laughs> I ended up at some sort of first Friday event. I just go with the flow, man. I didn't plan on coming here. Day 62. Look at all that snow up there. Yeah, screw Colorado. Well, we're not even at the high elevations. There's, it's just a very snowy state. Oh, long night last night. Everybody was drinking all night, and myself included. I felt kind of poopy this morning, but I don't really drink all that often. Not, not like that. There's drinking games involved. I know nothing of drinking games. So got everybody, you know, because these people all don't know each other. You know, they know each other vicariously, trail-wise and whatnot. But, you know, it's not like they hang up. They all do the same games. I, I have a feeling that hiking is kind of uh, my midlife crisis because I never went to college and had this experience. This is what you're supposed to do in college is play drinking games and find yourself pooping in weird places early in the morning. Uh, and I never had that, so... I think that's the, the, the hole that hiking is filling in my in my soul. <laughs> if only I would have went to college and had this experience. I am really glad of my decision to go to Wyoming. I might be going more further north than everybody. The first group is just stopping at Rollins. And then that kid Grape wants to go to a place called Lancaster that's like halfway up there. But I might want to go a little further. It all depends on how cold it is, you know. I know the northern part of Wyoming is not desert, so I can't go all the way up in there. But I want to make it so it is as long as possible before I'm back in this state. 
Oh, give this place time to melt. Every big mountain we passed is just solid white. And half of them, we couldn't even see the top of them because they're just in the clouds. I'm like, nah, that's not my, my idea of fun, man. I'd rather be back in a desert hiking any day of the week. Still being cold. Gotta keep, you know, I gotta either drink my coffee fast or warm it up a couple of times. And I've, I've been warming it up, man. It is cold. All the time. Everywhere in this state. Perpetual land of winter. I, I don't think I've ever been to Colorado when it was warm. Does it get warm here? Like, by Arizona standards? I don't even know. I don't even know. Every time I've seen this state, it's cold, wet, and snowy. I'd like to see it in a different light. So that, that is the goal of this. Uh, everybody else is still going to be sleeping for hours. i got to find more water, man. I don't want to filter anything because it's cold. But I need more water if I want more coffee. Oh. Oh, life. Uh, I'll I find service soon, too. Man, i got a little countdown going on again. I'm out of space. Oh, how I have missed this coffee filter. I bent the edges, melted them over so it just hangs on all nice. Gets inside my little cup. Oh, I missed it. I threw the other one away. Screw that one. Should have never swapped. This thing's worked for years. Why change? So my plans have changed yet again. We're at a KOA. Split it four ways. It's $12. Not bad. Got a shower. Did laundry. Enjoying a sunset. Uh, but <clears throat> I decided I was going to hitch north with that uh, kid Grape. But to be honest, he kind of got on my nerves. And I didn't feel like babysitting him. And I'm quite positive he would have clung to me. So that was part of my reasoning. Uh, but we were going to hitch north to Lancaster and start walking south. But I decided I'm going to start walking north with these guys because they're fun and I like them. Uh, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then see how it goes from there. You know, start walking north from here. And then, you know, maybe, uh, I don't know, take a bus back and do Colorado. I have no idea. I'm, I'm just, you know, winging it as I go. But that is current state. Day 63. It's nice waking up not even chilly. I mean, I'm wearing a puffy, but that's only because, you know, it's morning. Just kind of wear them. I guess it's mildly chilly. Oh, it's pleasant. Uh, one minor kerfuffle. I bought coffee, and it turns out it was whole beans and not ground, so I'm not sure what to do about that. I don't have a coffee grinder. I've been kind of eyeballing all the big rigs around here, you know, trying to see if some people talk to me, but so far everybody's still sleeping. Hoping somebody has a coffee grinder, because if not, I'm going without coffee, man. Oh, taking off today, going hiking. Awesome. We'll see how that goes. Gonna hike north through the basin with these cats. They're loads of fun. I'm really enjoying my time with them. Uh, I didn't really get anything done last night uh, as far as fixing my tent, but I guess when necessity rises, I will. Uh, it's something I have to use fire on and make a lot of melty plastic smell, so it's nothing I could work on in the van or... You know, can't do it around here because KOA has all sorts of rules. They don't, they don't like to play with fire or whatever. So it's just something I'll, I'll figure out and repair on the trail, I guess. When necessity arises, I'll deal with it. <sighs> figure our shit out and get hiking. Ah, we're at the edge of the Great Basin. We're doing what's called a booze drop. These guys are dropping beer and alcohol off 15 or so miles up the trail. We're going back to where we started, then walking this way. I thought about leaving some of my gear and food behind, but I'm too paranoid. So, yeah, I'm already used to carrying the weight. These guys are fun. It's been steadily sprinkling all morning. It's supposed to stop sometime soon, but it's just gray everywhere. Rather cold, but not Colorado or northern New Mexico cold, so, yeah, that's groovy. And as far as I remember, this is mostly flat walking, so probably be able to do pretty decent sized days. So Red parked his van just a few miles down the road at some sort of rec center. I left a few of my things in it that I didn't need. Micro spikes. I had myself another puffy scent because I was expecting to go through Colorado, so you know that. And I got my new shoes. Nice to have shoes that fit. 
I feel like I'm walking faster, but they are called speed goats. And I could have walked the highway over there and it would have shaved off a little bit of time and whatnot. But I'm not always about shaving off miles when I take my, my alternate routes. It's about convenience, ease, you know, avoid snow. Generally not all about shaving off some miles unless it's some really crappy hiking, but I'd much rather be here than over on that road. Windy, wet, you know, the mist is always being kicked at you. Right now it's not bad. There's a little breeze blowing, it's cool. But it's come from that direction, which is the darkest direction there is. Just hoping the forecast I got before I lost service again was correct. It says it was going to stop raining in no time. I mean, it's only sprinkling now, so it ain't bad, but I'm still wrapped in plastic. Super heavy pack. Oh, first two days out of town, it packs up it's just that much heavier. And we have long water hauls ahead of us. Where they stashed alcohol, I stashed a liter and a half of water. They brought 10 pounds of alcohol with the booze. Wow, these guys are drinkers. I'll take a sip here and there, of course. But, you know, it's never been my thing. I only had two beers last night. That's more than enough to put me to sleep. So far, there's a decent amount of dead stuff on this trail. That's my third thing in like two miles. I think they're sheep. Hard to tell. Uh, so, unfortunately, my YouTube problems didn't get fixed because uh, the SD cards that, or not the SD cards, but the thumb drives, they can hold my movies now. But when I go to click on it to send it to YouTube, it says file not recognized. So, did not help me at all. Oh well. I was able to get out two last night at the KOA, surprisingly enough, with a data warning usage going on in the background the whole time. But I have like 10 hours of video in my phone right now that I need to get out to the interwebs to clean it up. Space is an issue from now on. This is definitely a lot different than my last Wyoming experience. I mean, there's water. There's still little patches of canards. Little patches of snow here and there. You know, nothing real, but it's still snow. Last time everything was just dry, dead, and, you know, very deserty. It's supposed to rain a little bit almost every day. But Colorado does the same thing. They just have, like, afternoon showers. When well, Colorado, it's snow and ice. This is technically summer. I don't know how it's already June, but it's already June. Only about four miles in, but the sprinkling has stopped. It looks lighter over there now. I'm pleased with that. Getting little flowers. We've got purples, yellows. Every once in a while, there's still really bright red uh, Indian paint brushes. Actually, I don't see any now that I mentioned it. This is going to be so much better than my last time through here. just so green and beautiful out here. See, maybe the rolling hills won't make me so mad this time. Not angry mad. Mental mad. Because uh, last time, it was it's like being on the ocean, man. You just, there's no hills. You know, none of that stuff. It was just rolling, not even rolling. Tiny, tiny fluctuations in elevation. But of this stuff and brownness. That was it. I saw some columbines growing you know, just a bit back. They weren't all cool looking yet, but they were definitely columbines. I've never seen those grow outside of Colorado. But by the time I got here last time, the dead of summer.
enjoy some rocks and stuff while I can. I'm pretty sure these are like the last of them. I'm not sure because I don't really look at the maps. But at least it's something to look at other than that. There'll be a whole lot of that in the future. Somehow more than just this. What is this? Were there a rainbow? I'd be expecting some gold. Or a salt lake. Yeah, I'm going with salt lake. Just a couple hours change everything. There's still snow off in the distance, but it's nice. It's mid 60s or so. The breeze feels good. Who knows? Maybe something else might come in. But let's hope not. Oh no, we're gonna have to climb this hill. Whew. That looks like a lot. Don't know if I can handle it after all this flat. So would this qualify as a forest of black sage, or do things have to be tall before they're a forest? I mean, they're tree-like, they're just really short. It's like a bonsai. Is there a forest of black sage, or a field of black sage? I like forest. Now, the water source is supposed to be in there, next to the solar panel. Since there's not much sun, I don't know what we're gonna get. We're gonna have a little bit of a shadow. I should count for something. But it's supposed to be flowing out of there. But if not, it's really green over there. But I can get water out of that. Well, that's good looking water right there. I hear it flowing. I don't see it coming out of anywhere. Assume that has something to do with it, huh? So much water now. Oh, this is the overflow from the area we were at. Oh, this is the fish pond. I see. I wonder if there's fish in it. There's a hiker. What? Aaron Hurts. What? We got a hiker. Didn't expect to see me out here this time of year. What? Rare double skull? They fought to the death and both lost. The hiker's way over there. I don't know why. There's no trail anywhere though. I'm following these guys. Guess we don't get to chat with, dude. Man, it's beautiful out here, isn't it? So green and lush, and red mountains, and big puffy white clouds. It comes. Beautiful. Definitely getting close to Satan's butthole. Nothing else is that color of red. Wow, I can see the change from here. You know, look around, you just see the same colors of muted greens. But that next hill, it hunts. See how yellow that is? Nice. Crazy, one hill next. But other than that, mostly blue skies around except for that patch. And it's not moving at me. 
isn't much of a trail here, I think. Okay, this is technically the trail right here. Just haven't been many people on it yet because they're all stuck in the snow. Oh, there's even some purples hiding in there. Not much of a trail to follow, <laughs> but I want to bet this spends a good chunk of the year under snow, so I can understand that. This basin experience is going to be great. Got some light ones to throw in the mix. I'm assuming this was covered in snow more recently than the hills. That's why they have flowers. Because you have all the slightly higher portions. Mix it with some colorful lichen in the rocks. Not oh, even better. Who are you? Just ignore the sound of traffic. I like the red and green together, it's quite beautiful. Is that Morse code up there? Okay, we are pretty much to where the road, somewhere on the road is where we stash. Oh yeah, it's a mile walk down. So. Where they stashed your alcohol and I stashed a liter and a half of water. Glad I did that, because I haven't had to carry much on my back all day, water-wise, anyway. I love that there's a barbed wire fence running through the middle of this. Oh, maybe even a couple of them. It's a picturesque farm. Beautiful, man. We have procured our beverages. And technically, we're back on trail, but there's not a trail. While we were sitting there, we found a total of 11 ticks on us. Yeah, there is no freaking trail. I mean, supposed to go from here, down there. I only found one on my shoe. It wasn't attached to me, but everybody had multiples attached to them. I'm assuming they're in the Black Sage just waiting to get us. 
Yeah, screw all that. Check out the colors in these mountains. Shapes. Those aren't called the Sawtooth Mountains. They are misnamed. There's actually a little water flow in this ravine. Did not expect it. Oh no, we gotta cross this. It's gonna be difficult, but I will manage. I don't think that's headed towards us. I've been watching it for a while. But we might intersect it up here somewhere. Count. Oh, by the way, that's count. That's big red. And I don't know what the hell is her name. But I don't think it's Poppins. Poppins. Uh, but <laughs> count found two more takes on him. Come on, he's the tickiest. I think he's got like nine on him so far today. I've had one on my shoe, but his were actually attached. This is technically the basin, but this isn't the flat, horrible part of the basin. All the smart kids use gravity. Look at that. I was the first one to hang mine on there. They're just copying me. But yeah. I grabbed mine out of this. Turns out there's water way over there that they grabbed it from. I was like, it all looks the same to me, man. Water's water. This is why I carry a filter. So we lucked out. We missed all the storms. I'm hoping for a sweet sunset, though. With all these clouds. Hopefully. Okay, so it's about 7 o'clock. Well, past my bedtime, or not bedtime, but time I should have camped. We're setting up camp over here somewhere. They carried on ahead, find a dry spot. Is that a seabird too? Sure sounds like one. It's crazy seeing a seagull. He, he kept flying over us. I tried to get a video of him, but yeah, he was flying away as I started. It's weird to see seagulls out here, man. You got blown way off course. Literally, if you fly in any direction, there is an ocean. Which couldn't be farther away from one. Oh, I think I'm going to get a cool sunset tonight. I hope so. My new shoes are hurting my feet, but not bad. I got some, got some hot spots. Already put band-aids on, but... New shoes are like that, but at least both feet have the same spot hurting, so that tells me it's still the shoe. I just have to get tougher. But at least it's just one spot. It's a spot that's easy to put a band-aid on, on the heel. No big deal. It's the between the toe ones that really get you. Let's see what they chose for a campsite. Oh, this is Mikasa for the night. Nice, beautiful backdrop. Probably not getting a sunset out of it, but, you know, it might happen. That was that big storm that came by. It turned into this little cloud. And now everything else is all nice and peaceful. These guys sleep in, so I'm going to be headed out probably at my usual time. I lost the game tonight, so I'm forced to carry the bochi balls. 
loser carries them. We played a game yesterday, a dice game, and I dominated. But today at Bochi, I only got one point. Whatever. So I'm going to cook my food, go to sleep. And I'll catch these guys at a water source tomorrow sometime. Uh, they say they're waking up at like 6 o'clock. But I know that's a joke because I've never seen any one of them rouse before like 7. I've only spent three days with them, but that's what I've seen so far. I'm enjoying their company, though. They are pretty fun. They're my kind of peeps. I'm liking them all. Got the coyotes howling in the background. I don't think we're getting a sunset, much of one. And you know what? I got priorities. I need food. Oh, birth myself into the tent. Oh. See, the zipper still works, but only from there up. And there's the bottom zipper that I should be able to zip up and open the doors, but that one just doesn't work anymore. Eventually, I will get around to fixing it. I think the stuff I bought would work really well. And I soaped all my zippers because some of you recommended using soap, and I happen to have some. So I soaped them all to hopefully lubricate them a little bit. Make I don't want to have to replace these zippers. I just want to replace these zippers. Today is a sad day. I have lost Spoony too. I've torn my pack apart. I can't find my spoon anywhere. Luckily, I saved this one from the tuna pouch. Um, I don't know how long it's going to get me by, but I'm saddened about it. Anytime I lose a piece of gear, it, it hurts a little bit. It does. I had Spoony too for quite a while. Well, somebody else needed it more from me. That's why the trail takes things from you. I'll find another spoon up the trail. Rest in peace, Spoonie 2.